Okay, so if you clicked on this video, it was probably because you were like, what? What can Black Ops 4 possibly learn from ghosts, right? Well, um, there's a couple things that I, I think, in my opinion, could be learned from ghosts in Black Ops 4. And those things are transferable to just about any Call of Duty, in my opinion. But I digress. Let's start off with the first thing. Uh, that would be hit detection. Call of Duty Ghosts had excellent hit detection whenever it first came out. Now, it, it's kind of iffy because there's more or less no dedicated servers. And it's all peer-to-peer -peer based. But when it first came out, mostly all you would find was those dedicated servers. And they were really good, actually. Now, speaking of dedicated servers, uh, I realistically would like a dedicated server only game but that being said when the player base eventually drops on the game I feel it would be beneficial to have uh, peer to peer servers in the long run added in there for like a, a hybrid server system just for that fact because uh, s when you go through like um, I don't know Black Ops 3 for example the way it worked was it was a dedicated server and it would try to match you with people in your location that also on a set amount of dedicated servers so what ended up happening was it would split the player base up so much that you could not find a game for like 10 minutes which is really annoying uh, and, and most of the time I just I, I couldn't play Black Ops 3 because of that fact and it was really really stupid but whatever anyways uh, this is mostly a PC issue, but I have noticed it happening on console too, just because everyone's moved on to World War II or other stuff like Fortnite. <laughs> Alright, moving on to point three. Uh, the gun sounds in Call of Duty Ghosts were absolutely phenomenal. Especially the silenced gun sounds, because you could actually realistically still tell where someone was even without the radar on, because... The silenced gun sounds actually sounded like silenced guns, not, or suppressed guns, rather. Y anyways, that's besides the point. The, the point is, the gun sounds were really good, so. Anyways, let's get on to some of the bad things that I think Black Ops 4 could learn from Ghosts, which is the time to kill. And this is important because Black Ops 4 has already put in 150 health, which realistically ups the um, time to kill by a significant amount, and it makes it easier for the gun balancer, so they say. I don't really know. Uh, all I know is that apparently the time to kill is pretty high, uh, and this means that they have a more skill-based, is, is I think is what they call it, uh, gameplay. Uh, and I would have to agree with that, because the higher time to kill means that you can be more accurate with your guns and get the kill, and rather than somebody BSing their way to a headshot, which kills you instantly. And that's pretty neat, I guess, but the time to kill really wasn't a big issue for me in Ghosts or well, any Call of Duty for that matter. Uh, mostly because I would do the BSing half the time. <laughs> uh, anyways. Let's move on to point number quattro, and that is the colors. Uh, Black Ops 4 has a beautiful color system. The, the color, the color scheme they use is very punchy, very bright, very colorful. Whereas, as you can see in the background here, Call of Duty Ghosts had looked kind of washed out if anything grays lots of grays if black ops 4 can be really consistent with their color scheme which they usually are black ops 2 3 and now 4 all look beautiful then i think that they'll be fine but um if they kind of go to a, a more gray or gritty background on all the textures or, or do a map that's like a remake or something like especially the Black Ops One remake maps, they're they're kind of they're 
they look better than they did in Black Ops 1, but they're still kind of got that Black Ops 1 feel to it, where it's kind of gray and gritty. You know, you know how it is, but anyways. The last point I want to make is the customization and the DLC. I actually didn't mind the DLC in Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, it actually made the game a lot better, in my opinion. And I also didn't mind, uh, although a lot of people did mind, the, and, and this really kind of started the, the downhill spiral for supply drops, but the, the, the DLC, like the, the wolf skin and the Snoop Dogg, or uh, yeah, I think it was Snoop Dogg, uh, voice acting for the announcer. Uh, that was kind of funny. I, I, I like that. I didn't actually buy them because I didn't feel the need to, but a lot of people like that, so they bought it, and good for them. Infinite Warfare also had an announcer pack, I think, as well. I wouldn't actually mind if Black Ops 4 had DLC like that, like um, different gun skins you could outright purchase, or... As long as it's not, like, something that can change the gameplay up. Like, the, for instance, the Ripper on Black Ops... Or, sorry, Call of Duty Ghosts. It was uh, kind of OP, really. <laughs> and it was a season pass gun, I think it started out as. And if you own the season pass, you got the, the gun. And if you didn't, then you could pick it up off dead bodies, but that's about it. And it, it was kind of dumb. The Maverick was a little less OP. I think that, was that a later one? I don't know. I think that might have been the, the second gun that came out. It was like a sniper assault rifle hybrid. If the, if they want to add a gun, make it in like, I don't know, an update to the game. Not purchasable right out, you know? If anything, they should have like a, like a, a new gun. that Like the base gun you get for free and, and it, everyone gets it. But like they should have, if they, I'm thinking about this like a market standpoint from a marketplace standpoint they sh if they're going to do something the way they should do it is a skin system where like they'll have the base gun variant and then you can purchase a skin for it and that's how they'll make their money off the gun you know so you get this really awesome looking skin and then you get the bland base variant gun which I mean, could look cool or not, it really depends. So those, I figure, are about all the uh, things you can learn from Call of Duty Ghosts, both good and bad, in Black Ops 4. If you like the video, or you have something else to add, leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to read it. But anyways, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.